Okay, time for another fun toy. We have a tiny little leather pouch. Nice and small, you can see it fits in the palm of your hand. This is a solder iron. So this version, the case is purchased separately. The solder iron is TS80. So you have a very small little body, almost smaller than a pen, and a tip. This is a uh, flat tip with an audio style jack, which is interesting. And it just clips in like so. Uh, this one is the fancy model. It comes with the um, silicon braided USB Type C power cable. And this will by default run on Quick Charge 2, Quick Charge 3. Well, obviously, any future technology, I guess, will work on it. Uh, so you can use this off a power bank or a Quick Charge charger, which in the kit with the fancy cable is supplied. Uh, now, we're not going to use it today. I'm going to use the Milwaukee battery and a USB adapter power bank, as Milwaukee called. So just turn that on. Now, this one, like I said, won't work on 5 volts, it'll only work on quick charge with 9 volts. But wait, the display here says 5 volts. This is using a custom firmware which is still currently being developed by uh, Rillim. And yeah, very cool. So we have two buttons here, up and down. If we press uh, the right hand side button, we get uh, our menus. We won't go through them, but there are a lot of options. And if you get through them, we get back to our default. So we have our tip temperature. This is the advanced mode, tip temperature. The set temperature, which is what we're going to go to, and this is in Celsius. And the input voltage, which is 5.1, running off that bad boy there. So we press this one once, and we get power up. And now on the screen now we have power and wattage in the top right hand side and then we have a countdown timer until the machine uh, until the soldering iron actually goes into standby in this case I've set it to two minutes but it is quite thoroughly adjustable out to god knows how long uh, the tip temperature obviously going up and the voltage now you might think well gosh this is going up rather slow that's because it's running on five volts and it's running at five watts this thing if you run it on uh, 9 volts with the quick charge 2 or 3 heats up in about you know, 45 to 60 seconds and uh, I'm sure that uh, it can probably pull more than that on quick charge 3 or above uh, with future software upgrades so it is getting toasty warm we won't uh, go too much further and to power it off we just press the right hand side button and you can see the tip temperature drop down again uh, so for portability heat up times and just down and right compactness this thing is crazy good it is a uh, steel or aluminium chassis and uh, it's so tiny I can take this anywhere with me and uh, obviously use it completely portably if there is no uh, no mains power available uh, highly recommend it and uh, definitely consider this alternatively there is a TS100 which is also fantastic it's the um, bigger brother of this and the older brother of this uh, that does not have a USB type C but it will also handle higher voltages uh, very popular with people in the RC and quadcopter world uh, because it will run off uh, lipo packs and things like that but for your average tech like myself, this thing is the bee's knees. Highly recommend.